share and subscribe put on your notification bell so when I post my videos you guys will get the latest content I would like to thank all of my new subscribers who um, just subscribed and welcome back to my subscribers who have been here before I'll go ahead and give my disclaimer this is an adult channel and I'm posting pretty late tonight so um, there will be no room on my platform for haters, trolls, or children. So, good night, kitties. <laughs> Hi, guys. I've been a little bit under the weather. You haven't seen me for about two to three weeks. I've been, like, in a lot of pain. I had, like, a procedure done on my foot. And, um, it's more so, it wasn't like a blood clot. It was more so like a, uh... Oh, what do they call it? I can't think right now, you guys, because I'm like half asleep. I had no homework tonight, and for the last couple of months, I have just been delving into the books. I've been working 24-7, haven't gotten any yard work done. I haven't been outside to lounge in my chairs, nothing. So I've been, you know, just in the house, just doing my work on the computer and propping my little foot up, okay? So, if you guys been wondering where Miss Sweet C, aka Miss Ann Banks was, that's where I was. So, yeah, let me go ahead and give a few shout outs. I wanna give a shout out to um, B Love and Nate, Zaddy Chung Chung and Nicole, of course, Chilling with Walt and Kicking It with Sin City. Um, Mia and Corey's Mukbang Life. Kashmir. Um, so I want to I wanna give a shout out. If I could give a shout out to all those in the Mukbang community, I probably would. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my girl, Miss um, Glow Glow and the Double L Gang, Tasha and Steph, Tay and Lou, and um, many, many more. So, yes, guys, that tune that you just heard just now, as you guys know, I love my soft music. And especially because it's a late, late, late hours, it's wee hours, I was a little hungry. So I said, let me go ahead and finish up a little bit of this. Um, it was just a little bit of uh, mini shrimps. I had mini shrimps, mussels, corn, and scallop. Like a small portion that the restaurant gives you. So I had a little bit left over. Um... I was in the YouTube studio, you guys, and a pet peeve of mine is um, I'm one of those people that if you want to get to know me, get to know me, know me. Don't stalk me, okay? I'm one of, I'm one of those people you, are, you can actually say hello to. I'm approachable, okay? And um, being as I study sociology, which is the study of people, and I study psychology, which is the person's brain. So I know when you're a creep. And I know when you're a sociopath. And I know if you're a psychopath, okay? So, and to um, to, to learn those things, you got to know a lot about yourself. And I have a low tolerance for creeps, okay? I can, I mean, I can smell you. Seriously, we all have our five senses, and then they say there's a sixth sense. I have a sixth, S-I-X-T-H, sixth sense for a creep. And what that means is I have a very low tolerance for people who are creepy, okay? So don't creep me out. If you have a YouTube page 
and you're actually a person that, you know, you have something like a, a business or you're starting up a business or you have something that you, a general interest that you just like the world to see, that's wonderful. But if I check out your page and you have nothing on there but young girls and the only one song that you have is something by R. Kelly, you already didn't creep me out and you have no content at all. And I've seen a lot of that stuff on Instagram and Facebook as well. People that create these Instagram pages and Facebook pages. And when you go under it, there is no content. Like they just made everything up within the last three to four hours. And then there are these people who steal other people's profiles and pretend that they're that person. But when you look at every picture under the profile, the, the pictures are from four hours ago or two hours ago. So there's no way a person would sit there and take 80 pictures and post 80 pictures and all the pictures have in the last two hours. Now, if you go under pictures of people that have real profiles, you'll see that they have different dates and different years and different times that they took those pictures. So you'll see a person that has 100 pictures and those 100 pictures were pictures that they had taken probably back in 2010, 20, 2009, um, 2011. And then you go to another profile and then you see another person who has 100 pictures and you get excited. You say, oh, he's got 100 good looking pictures. And you touch random pictures under that person's profile. And oh my God, they were all created one hour ago from the first picture to the hundred picture so that's a fake profile so be careful you guys be careful ladies out there who you are letting come onto your platforms your channels and stuff like that okay i'm just saying that's a pet peeve of mine if you a creep pass my page please pass my channel and everything else all right so once again you guys i was inside of the youtube studio and that song was called Unavailable. Because I'm unavailable. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, we're going to have um, a friend of mine coming in town. Just a couple of, I don't want to say when the person is coming in town. But, you know, I, <laughs> I just had some, some, I consider this person a family come up um, about two, three weeks ago, right after my surgery. And um, he had a son that graduated, so he had to come up for the graduation from Atlanta. So I enjoy out-of-town company. It's really nice to see everybody. And thank you, friend, family, for coming up. I appreciate that. You always come up at the right time. And we have such a great time when you do show up. So, yeah, I have my friend coming soon. And... Um, you know, I got some, I got, you know what? YouTube loves for you to do the Q and A's, the question and answers. And I have gotten so many questions about who's your man? Where's your man? Uh, why your man ain't in the background? I, I'm a little bit different with um, my privacy. <laughs> I'm a little bit different when it comes to what I um, do on my channel. So I like to be informative. I like to talk about healthcare. I like to talk about um, food mostly. That's what we do, recipes, recipes, new ideas. And I, like I said, I'm innovative. So I'm willing to talk about anything that is gonna move us forward in society because we live in a world that's so bad. So I really just try to stay away from my personal relationship and stuff like that. But you guys will meet that big handsome guy real soon okay so you like so you guys can can basically see uh i am so not an, i'm so not available okay i am so not um you guys i'm gonna try to show you guys my drink i have what we're gonna we're gonna call this uh we're gonna call this um a mint sunset i don't know if you guys can see it I have my, it's like a um, mint. We have real fresh mint on the top. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. That's real fresh mint. 
That's not marijuana, you guys. I know it's legal in a lot of states, and it just got legal in my state July 1st. So if you know weed was legalized in my state July 1st, then you know what state I'm in. <laughs> look it up. I'm not going to tell you, but then look it up. But yeah, that's fresh mint. And I also have um, ginger in there as well. And you guys know that I have my ginger ale. I have it on deck. It's over there, but it's in here as well. And I have my lemon and oranges inside of here. So we're going to call that a mint sunset. And I mean, it's really minty. I'm going to go ahead and take a sip. You guys know what that just felt like? It felt like my insides just took a shower. That's how minty fresh that is. And all it is is um, ginger, a half a spoon of ginger. Don't use a whole lot. Now, they do have this new Canada dry out. It's called Canada... <laughs> Don't, don't make me laugh, you guys. It's called Canada Dry Bold. And I don't know what company made that or, or how much ginger they use, but I'm telling you, if that don't get rid of COVID-19, I don't know what will. I mean, you, I mean, that ginger ale was so strong and so bold. I mean, as immediately when you take a sip, you start sneezing. I could probably do laundry in that. That's how powerful that ginger ale is. It's called Canada Dry Bold. And um, my daughter got me onto drinking the Canada Dries because I like Schweppes. I like um, Northern Necks. They're they're strong, um, but I don't I don't like it so pungent that when I drink, I'm feeling like real um, acid reflux, like I'm burning. And 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 then I mean this ginger ale bold. This Canada Dry Bowl, you guys, if you get it, I promise you, you're going to start sneezing immediately. It's it's really good. It's really, I'm, I'm not knocking it. It's really good. It's really good. But y'all know me. I'm going to do me. And this is real good. I love my fresh mint. Um, if you can find a local groceries or a farmer's market or somewhere where you can get your fresh mint, I like to go to the Ivy Mound Walmart. Um, it's a little ways out. And I used to ride out there to get my Mercedes um, done a couple of years ago. No, I don't have a Mercedes now. But I did have a Mercedes a couple of years ago. And a Jag. And so, thinking about getting another nice car soon. Not real soon, but soon. Um, but out there past... Uh, it's it's far up. It's far up. If anybody is looking at this and you're from RVA, from the Cap City, um, straight out Melodian, past the Mercedes Benz and past the BMW dealership. Then you're going to go more to the, I think it's to the right. It's the Ivy Mound. I think it's the Kroger up there. The Kroger, I believe it is. Kroger's. Kroger's Ivy Mound. And um, they have like all these fresh mints and spices um, that you can cook with. So I like to get the fresh, fresh mint and basil and all kinds of stuff. But you guys, this, this drink is so good. It makes me feel so good and um, keeps my skin clear too. When I went to, oh, another thing, ladies, I went to the doctor. And when I went to the doctor, my my urine was so white. And um, I, I went to take it into the room where they, you know, I washed off the container and I, and I paper toweled it dry. And then after I paper toweled it, I put more paper towel around it because I'm a very clean person. I didn't want my nurse to have any little specks of water and she think it was pee pee no it was just regular clean old water and um she looked at my urine and she said she said i've been working here for quite some time and she said every time you come in here she said your pee pee is clear like it's water she said are you giving us water or are you giving us urine i said no i'm giving you urine i said you want to take the top off and smell it it's, it's pee <laughs> 
She said, so what are you drinking? I said, I'm drinking water. Um, and and drink, drink at least eight ounces of water before you go to bed so that your kidneys are flush. Because if you're, I mean, if you're not drinking water, you'll just start to get back pain. You, I mean, your, your kidneys are your filtration system. It takes all of the toxins out through the body through urine. And when your kidneys go bad, you have to go through dialysis. And you get those big knots on your arm where they have to, t they, they literally take all the blood out of your body. And you watch it go out through these tubes. And then you watch it come back in. And you're so weak when you finish dialysis. A lot of people, you'll see the people from dialysis where they tell you don't drive. And we have a, a DaVita uh, day dialysis here where I am. And sometimes they just need volunteers to take the people home. Um, you have to have a valid driver's license and no, um, no, uh, record of speeding and stuff like that and they just need volunteers because sometimes the people can get there but you know they don't want to sit there after their blood goes through they don't want to sit there for a long time they're tired they're sleepy they're ready to go home they have to let people in their houses and so um if you know of anybody who does dialysis Take some time and go to one of those dialysis centers. Um, go get, first you want to go get a, 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 maybe a driving record or something from DMV. And then also what you want to do is you want to, um, from the Virginia State Police, get a, get a background check record. And if you don't have it physically, get your background check, then have them, you know, um, require that you know hey we we do a background check and just prove that you are who you say you are because i'm quite sure none of the patients want to get in the you know the the rides with people that are not lifts and ubers already sometimes they don't want to wait that's my point i'm trying to make they the dialysis people do not want to wait after they've had their blood clean they want to go home and so it's um the thing with help in the city, they've got one off of uh, High Oaks Road as well, right in front of the Chippenham Hospital. So take some time and do something good for the people that are sick and need our help. Tonight, you guys, I have, like I said, let me take this top off. I had, you guys know I have a hibachi hot plate and that sucker was so hot, I had to turn it off. It was sweating me. I was I was up here. I was sweating. Um, I have the muscles here. These are not the big green lips. These are the little black ones. And I'm trying. I'm not gonna have this video go too long tonight, you guys, because usually around this time of night. And if I didn't say happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Um. I would like to get one movie in before I actually go off to sleep. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say the grace and then we're going to go ahead and start eating. Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal that I have prepared, dear Lord. Bless those, dear Lord, that do not have any meal tonight. And once again, dear Lord, please help those with hurt uh and all the confusion going on in the world, please help them to heal, dear Lord. The riots, all of the protesting, dear Lord, in your son Jesus Christ's name. Heal the world, dear Lord. Amen. Yes. Um, I've just been hearing like so much evil going on in the world. It is unbelievable. And I know that I haven't been to church in a good little while. But my children and I, we used to stay in church. We lived in church. And I'm a church girl. I'm a church girl. Yeah, I'm from the church. So my parents kept us in the church. Monday through Friday, we went to school. Saturday, we went to uh, vacation Bible study. <laughs> Every Sunday we went to church all my life. We grew up and my mom said, if you wake up on a Sunday morning, 
<clears throat> playing any loud music in her house. And my dad was there. <laughs> and she said, I done told you one time. See, my mom would speak. My daddy had her back. <laughs> and if she repeated herself twice, my daddy would light your ass up. <laughs> He would get my baby sister. He wouldn't get me. <laughs> yeah, he would get my baby sister all the time. She'd be making noise and doing stuff. This one looks kind of dry, y'all, but I'm going to put some, some butter in it. I'm going to try to give y'all a, a little... Ooh, it's dripping. Okay. For those who really don't care too much for the black muscles because of the beard all you have to do is while they're steaming and when some of them come open on their own i've probably not had many black muscles where they're shut tight because they steam open they come right open i snatch that little uh seaweed beard off of it it's like a little beard that's what they call it anyway the beard okay so What I'm going to do, you guys, because I'm, I'm really trying to eat a little bit, because I want to hurry up and make this video really fast so I can watch a little television. Because tonight is the first night in at least two and a half weeks where, and, and like I said, I want to, I can't put ice on my foot. Um, they said put heat, and I have to keep it propped up. So I'm sitting like in a position where, ugh. It's kind of like I got my feet hanging down, and so it's like it's aggravating me a little bit. And my my oldest daughter, she didn't bring my grandpuppy over, but her brother, one of her brother's friend, brought the puppy over to see me, and so that helps me. That helps me kind of run around because. If I don't get up and do any exercise, and I've lost so much weight, oh my God. I have lost so much weight. I can see my waistline. I can see my little fair booty. <laughs> um, I probably lost about 17 pounds because I was down to like nine pounds a couple of weeks ago. And so I've lost about 17 pounds so far. Whew, if I can do 25, if I could do if I could do 30, I would look like a brand new person. I could I could look like the old me. Sweet C, aka Miss Ann Banks. Yeah. So yeah, I can't wait, you guys, for you all to see my little buddy. And uh maybe he'll let y'all ask him some questions. So I'm not shy. You know, I know some partners are shy. I'm not shy. But he's not shy. He'll tell y'all more than I'll tell y'all. I tell y'all that. <laughs> he'll tell you, he'll answer more questions for y'all than, than I will answer for y'all. <laughs> you know? Because I'm only here to give information. And I'm only here to get information from the other cities and stuff like that. Yep. So, yeah. Mm. Want to give a shout out to Prissy P and the PR gang. Gang, gang, gang. I am seriously thinking about doing them 12 burgers. Was it 12 burgers or 10 burgers? McDonald's, the double. What is it? The, uh... Double the quarter pounders. I don't. I don't know. Not quarter pounders. They were from McDonald's. I tell you what, their McDonald's burgers are not as big as Burger King burgers. Burger King burgers are mammoth. When you get a little double burger from McDonald's, it looks like that with two pieces of meat. From Mac, from Burger King, oh, you your burger looks like that, and it's all meat, and um. I'm sorry, McDonald's. I always been a Burger King girl. Cause I mean they give it the burgers. I don't know why. The burgers are so big. I mean, I don't I just now I'm 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 gonna tell y'all when I started eating 
fast food because we didn't grow up on fast food. My father and mother never gave us fast food. We had home-cooked dinners every night. And on Sunday, families came over. Everybody came over to eat at our house. And um, I'm not making it up. I got all my brothers and sisters and my cousins and my aunts and uncles and all my relatives that can prove what I'm saying. And they still do the same thing today. They go find somebody's house to eat at. I ain't got all that money. And, um, psh, huh, with the coronavirus going around, I'm just scared to open my door. My door for anybody. <laughs> my y'all should see when my oldest son comes sometime in the evening. I'm stopping him at the door. I'm like, could you please take your shoes off? And can you please wash your hands? And don't touch the refrigerator before you wash your hands. And you need to go take a bath and do this and do that. And he's like, good God Almighty. He's like, I don't even really be here. He was like, I just. I'd be like, but yeah, but you out in the public. I'm not. So when I go out, you guys, I have my mask. I have my gloves. And um, most importantly, I keep seeing a lot of people make the statement that you need your mask. But you need your gloves, too. You touching the baskets. You touching the doors. Let me tell you something. You know how many people touch a door a day? And dig up their nose and scratch their ass. And, and by the way, my platform is not for haters, trolls, or children. So I might, you know, every once in a while, I might slip up and say a little curse word, okay? So, yeah. But so many people grab the door handles, the basket handles, and they've been picking up their nose. And they've been driving and they be flicking boogers all over the stern wheel and doing all kinds of stuff. And, ugh. I ain't touching none of that. mm, -mm. I wear my gloves. These are my scallops, you guys. Nice and fat and fluffy. Can y'all see those? Those are good. Mm. Mm. After I eat my shrimp, my mussels. Maybe I bite the corn. But look, you guys. Watermelon. It's almost seedless. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take another quick couple of bites. I'm going to put this on. This is called Unavailable, you guys. Unavailable. From the YouTube studios. Unavailable.
forgot my napkin, you guys. Mm. That was beautiful, you guys. Once again, I am Sweet C, a.k.a. Miss N. Banks. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Put on your notification bell so when I post my videos, you will get the latest content. And when I go to check out your page, please have content. Don't be a creep, okay? My platform is for adults. So once again, there's no room for haters, trolls, or children, okay? And with that said, you guys, thank you for eating with me. And to all my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. And to my subscribers who join me every time I post a video, welcome on back. So, again, you guys, go out and volunteer your services wherever you can, okay? The world is just changing, and we want to make it change for the better, not for the worse. Even though there's a lot of killing, there's a lot of... Um, hatred and racism and other things going on we don't want to live in a society like that we don't want to live in a world like that so go out and try to help somebody it's been really hot outside lately the next time you see an elderly person outside say ask them say look can i buy you a bottle of water can i take you to the bus stop um can I cut your grass for you? No elderly people should be cutting grass in the summertime. It's been 95, excuse me, 99. And with the heat index that pushes the weather, the, the heat humidity up to 105. And that's really dangerous, you guys. And I'm telling you, I drink a lot of water and a lot of ginger ale and fresh fruit. But on top of that, you guys, you have to get your bananas in, too. I know that sounds like some monkey business, but it's not. Okay? If the heat from cutting grass can kill a whole big, almost 7 foot, 250 pound football player, it's nothing to play with, guys. Okay? Take care of yourselves. Okay? And drink your water and eat bananas. Bananas are have potassium in it. And what happens in the summertime, a lot of people don't realize, is their body loses that potassium. Potassium controls the electricity in your heart. And when your heart loses the electricity, you pass out. And then you die. Okay? I know about it because I take potassium pills. Okay? And so that controls the electricity in your heart. And some people like myself who have deficiency of iron and potassium, it's very dangerous to be in the heat. It's why I haven't been in my backyard laying out like a beauty queen and, you know, laying out like a Victoria's Secret, old chocolate Victoria's Secret mama. Because <laughs> I'd be laying out in my backyard. I'll cut my grass and I'd be laying out. <laughs> my neighbor be like, <laughs> you looking like a million dollars there, girl. I ain't got it, but I be feeling like it. So, yeah, I haven't been out in the yard in a while. So, um, you know, I miss it, but it's just been too hot, too dangerous. And um, with the spikes in the coronavirus, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's really airborne or how that works. But I've been just trying to make sure that on those hot, hot, hot days I don't even really I, t I tell you know my son I said the one that's home just try to run your fan because you know I just don't know what this thing is about nobody knows what this thing is about and um, by the way I want to see I want to challenge somebody I found some Wuhan quarters some bats on the quarters now y'all know the new money has bats on it it says it just says 2020, but it's the new money, and it's got bats on it. It's got a baby bat, and the mama bat's hanging upside down, and the baby bat is upside right, and the 2020 is under the mother bat. But, yeah, I challenge somebody to go get a tattoo with the Wuhan bat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just, they just put those bats on the money, 2020. 
And I want to see who the first person to be crazy enough to get a Wuhan bat tattooed on them. Don't know what it stand for. Don't know what it mean or what. It, you know, why Why a bat? I've been trying to do my research. I don't know. You know, they say that the the country of Wuhan, Wuhan, China, is where the virus came from. That's what they say. That's what they say. And uh, they say it came from the bats. Cooking them, eating them, whatever. But but listen to me. Listen to me. In every culture, there is something that they eat that the other culture does not eat. You understand? So, you know, I don't look at it as, oh, they eat bats. Oh, they some some parts of the world they were eating monkey meat. Y'all heard about it. Y'all know about it. They were saying over there in Africa and different places they were eating monkey meat. They were eating monkey meat. It was called gorilla meat, ape meat. That's what they eat because that's what's over there. We over here eating the pigs and the cows. You know, they probably think we crazy. Like, why are we eating? They probably think, why are we eating our pets? You know, some people keep cows and pigs as pets. They probably think we crazy for it, you know. The Jamaicans eat cow foot. They eat um, goats. I think goats are cute. Goats are pretty. I've eaten a little goat before. I like it when they season it up. But I think goats are cute. I think I, if I had a baby goat, I would have a baby goat running around in my backyard because they're so cute. And they, they know how to jump up on stuff. They are so cute. Okay, I wouldn't eat my rabbit. But some people down south eat the rabbit. And some people eat the squirrel. You can't catch nobody up here eating the squirrel, but go down south to Atlanta and Georgia and Louisiana and, and back in the Bayon and all that. They eat squirrel and rabbit and raccoon and coon and all kind of stuff. The raccoons up here, they hang on the gate. The possums up here hang on the gate. You go down south, they eating possum. I'm like, why y'all eating y'all possum? They be like, why y'all ain't eating your possum? You know, but different places, different cultures eat different stuff, okay? So, yeah, some people eating the bat, some people eating the rat, some people eating the dog. Oh, God. Don't eat the dog. Don't eat the puppies. Please, don't eat the puppies. I would be so sad if y'all eat the puppy. Don't eat the damn puppy. Don't eat the puppy. Please, don't eat the puppy. But then you have some people, they, they eat different stuff, you know. Some people eat the snake. Some people eat the alligator. You know, it's all in what people's cultures are accustomed to. So you can't tell people what to eat. They eat what they catch. You know what I'm saying? We eat what we catch. You know what I'm saying? We got pig farms here and cow farms and all that kind of stuff. Don't start no stuff, y'all. Y'all will start telling people what they can't eat. Then our food going to disappear too. So leave them people alone. They can eat them bats if they want. Just don't come over here with it. I'll, I'll, you know, just eat your bats over there. And we'll eat our cows and pigs over here. But, uh, yeah, but, you know, that's just culture. People eat different stuff. Some people eat frog legs. You go up north, they don't eat nothing. They just eat stuff that tastes like cheese. Eating vegan stuff. You know? I've eaten vegan. I've eaten ceviche and raw fish. and I've eaten octopus. I love uh, calamari. I don't like the fried because it's too tough. I like the buttered and um, garlic and lemon calamari. Mm. Mm. I want a piece of my watermelon before I go, you guys. I had a couple of pieces down here, but I think I'm just going to eat one. So, yeah, you guys, I love you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Don't be creeps. Get some content. Put on your page. Stop stalking people. <laughs> if you're going to have a YouTube page, 
really have a YouTube page. For those that are subscribed, thank you for sticking around and waiting for me to get well. I didn't leave. Sometimes it's just that we have to take care of our health first. Okay? And um, with that said, I am Sweet C, a.k.a. Missing Banks. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and put on your notification bell so when I post my content, you will get the latest updates and information. Bye. I love you guys.